Welcome back to Dobbo's Fishing Adventures and here we go again. Uh, gonna try for another salt tonight or two. Wanna be good, pressure off then. But uh, cracking day. Bit breezy. Sun's uh, poking its head in and out of the old clouds. Uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's hope they're gonna turn up this evening. Probably another couple of hours before I see at least one I expect. If, if I do, that's a bit uh, premature if I do. But uh, yeah, nice usual tactics. I've gone to a three hook Paternoster for this evening as well. And uh, the usual uh, two hook running ledger on the other rod. So fingers crossed uh, we'll see something. Plenty of nice fresh rag from Bills, so that'll be good. There was quite a few uh, contain uh, containers, uh, cruise ships in earlier. There's about five now. We got a couple left. So we've got another two to go. Here comes uh, here comes a red jet. Ferry's just gone out. High ferry over there. So yeah. Let's uh, see what we can get. I'm sure we'll go through a few of the usual suspects to uh, get to one if there's one here this evening. It's a better tide than last week, so, you know, I'd like to think that I'll so, uh, certainly try and find one, so that'll be good. Dead low up to high water, so that's perfect. Yeah, nice. At least it's uh, cooler than what it has been, so that's good. And the old nights are drawing in, so that'll make a difference on the soul fishing. So you ain't got to, you know, because obviously they're sort of like a dusk, nocturnal time fishing, so uh, fingers crossed uh, we won't have to wait so long for the old uh, darkness to come, so that'll be good. So, right, I'm Literally just rigged up, just going to do my first cast in a bit and uh, she'll keep me informed. Oh, and I did uh, did remember the GoPro to uh, tonight, so that's good. Saves you all being seasick looking through the uh, phone. <laughs> Tickety boo, right, let's get them out. Let's go, 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 go. Well, plenty of nibbles to start with, literally seconds of being in, and uh, it looks like the old usual suspects are, uh, are showing up. I'll show you the old cruise ship there. The Iona. Beast. Quite big, aren't they? I mean, they're up this close. Now that's good, so uh, bites are already happening, so that's even better. Let's just hope... Uh, let's hope we find one tonight. Goes a red funnel, car ferry. Ought to go back to the island. I'll probably go back to the island Thursday or Friday to my house. See mum and dad, etc. But, well, we're here. Come on, fish, where are you? Or should I say, where are the soul? Bring it on. Right. Let's give, uh, give it a first check. <clears throat> it's had a good soak, so uh, let's see what's uh, what's going to happen. I say I've had quite a few rattles, but let's just see what happens, and uh, don't feel like anything on it. Probably strip me bait. Look at that, completely emptied. Right, so <clears throat> that's telling me I don't want to leave it quite as long. But as I said, I've gone to a free up at a Nostra tonight. I 
I have to say, these worms are nice. And as you'll notice, uh, I always put mine in, like I've said before, in the vermiculite. Just can't stand peat. Just makes the worms, in my opinion, too slimy to get hold of, but the vermiculite just dries it out nicely. So I've got the stops. <clears throat> Once again, as as always, size four uh, shell, size four camazans. Can't beat them. <clears throat> Ultra sharp. Even a size two really is a little bit big for the sole. So, I mean, if they're really finicky and there's not too much house around, you could drop to a six, but. For me, size 4 seems to be the the way. And definitely use some sort of stop. <clears throat> you just don't want that worm flying back up your back up your trace. Nice cast out into the deep water. <clears throat> Tide's just starting to flood now. So I'm in about 50 odd feet of water there. Set the drag just in case Big Mouth Billy comes along. Right, let's do this one. This one was rattling away. Let's. Uh, something on it no no I don't think there is oh god <clears throat> well the tiniest pout you're likely to see Perfect, right. Too much weed by the looks of it, that's good. Where's that bit of tail? Let's put that bit of tail on. Freshen that bit up. There's another cruise ship there. Right, <clears throat> let's get this back out in the channel. Perfect. Well, let's bring it on. Let's have you. Right, let's have another check. All rattling away. My friend just down tied and he's just had a small one, so something's here. Oh, there's something on this one. This is a three up pattern, Oster. Something there this time. It was a little bit bigger than that pal. Well, actually, well, that is what we got here then. That's right. That is hanging in the side a bit. Is it going to stay deep? If it stays deep, it's going to be promising. 
That is staying deep. What we got? Bass, smooth round? Or is it what we're after? That is staying, look at that. That is hankering right down in that tide. God, that's going really heavy now. Let's say so. Pout. Oh yeah, cracking soul. That's a nice one. That's a pound plus. Well looked. Yeah, lift him up. There we go. So we've got pout. That's a nice soul. What a stonker. Nice. That's over a pound easy. All day long. Brilliant. Bring it on. Let's get it back out there. <laughs> Tickety boo. Right. So I've just weighed the salt. One pound seven. Nice. I'm happy with that. And there's definitely something on this one as well. So pressure is off. Uh, so that was. <laughs> Of all this power, so it's a white in sole and a bass on that on the old three of Pat Noster. We got one here, then don't think it's a sole, it's not staying deep, not hanging in the tide, unless it's a little one. <coughs> Whiting and a bass. Happy days. They're coming in. Bring it on. Tickety boo. I'll just have another bait check. Plenty of rattles. Definitely something on here. Especially when you've got three hooks on here. Even if it's not a sole, it's going to feel quite heavy if you've got, you know, two or three on, or whatever. Definitely some in here. There's the leader, it's not staying really deep, so... There you go, bass. Bass and a bit of weed. Come on, get that weed off. There we go. Happy days! Something on here, but don't think it's what we're after. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps it is. Just suddenly just woke up then. Staying deep. Well, overly staying deep, but no. Nah. Bass, I expect, or something like that. Small little schooling. Oh, I don't know. No. Oh, it is. <laughs> a little slip. Oh, well, number two. Number two. Happy days. Look at that. Beautiful. Brilliant. Right, pleased with that. There we go. Oh, hey, there he goes. Back in. Happy days. Cool, bring it on. <clears throat> well, I had a couple of nice, uh, real slow pulls on that, so, on this one, so let's, uh... no, maybe not. Felt like something, oh, yeah. There we go. A bit of weight on this one this time, so what we're after or is it something else <clears throat> nice and slow it's getting heavier so it could be what we're after 
Maybe not. Oh, I don't know. It's not a lot of tide there. Ha, smooth out. And a bass. So we've got a pout, white and... Sorry, pout, bass and smooth hound. Happy days. Not what we're after, but uh, that was the slow pulls I was getting. It was that smart. Cool. Bring it on. Oh, I've had two soles so far. Plenty of other bits and pieces, so yeah, quite an enjoyable evening so far. Now it's really getting to sort of like <clears throat> what I would say the witching hour, really, for the soul. This don't feel too bad, whatever's on here. Oh, uh, yeah. And so, pressure's off. We've had the target species. And there we go, number three. There we go. <clears throat> Another little slip. The old bait is getting hammered tonight by bits and pieces out there. Yeah, number three. Beautiful little thing. Nicely hooked as well. There we go. And see another day. Come back when you're bigger. <clears throat> I have to say, these worms are really nice. Even better in this vermiculite. Like anything, trying to put a worm on a size 4 isn't the easiest of tasks. <coughs> but. Yeah, so you want to be, you know, fishing reasonably light. You don't want nothing too heavy for sole. Um, I mean, these are the Tronics Pro crimp booms, and I think they're fantastic. Uh, the body's 50 pounds. Just so it doesn't tangle as much during the cast, the actual, you know, the, the body itself. And then I've only got... 15 pound little snoods little uh, stops I've got hundreds of them, they all came from China came from a very good friend of mine back on the island he had loads so I had a few um, and size 4 size 4 Camazan alright let's get it out in that channel Perfect, just stop it before it hits. Just so it doesn't blast the worms about and uh, happy days, bring it on. I'll check the other one in a second, uh, see how that one's doing. Oh, that was up the leader and a little bass on this one. Cool, let's get it back out. I have to say, it's gone a bit slow. I just need this bloody tide to pick up. I've had a few more bits and pieces, but yeah. There's not enough movement in that tide. As soon as that tide picks up again, <clears throat> fingers crossed it should all come, it should go back on the feed. I mean, I've got bits and pieces on this one now, but yeah. That's the only problem with Southampton water. Stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. Obviously, it's got a few rivers it's got to fill up, and you know, it can only take so much at one time. But, oh, oh look at that. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Bloody seal reel. You don't think he's tangled up three pattern, three hook pattern oster, do you? Oh, well. I was looking for something to do, not 
You bastard. Oh well. <laughs> I'll sort that out, shall I? Right. <laughs> sort it out and get it back out. <laughs> Not good, you swine. Well, the tide's starting to move, but I have to say, it's still, uh, still gone a bit quiet. Here's some of the bits and pieces. Oh, hello. No, hold on. Oh, there's a bit of weight on this one this time. I was going to say, even some of the bits and pieces have sort of like uh, gone off the feed a bit. But we just need this tie to move through oh, there's something on here it's just nice when it gets close to the boat and that and it just stays really deep then you pretty much know and this is slightly getting heavier yes it is getting heavier oh here we go now oh, a few knobs like they do is this one Things gone through the lead, they're not. No, it ain't, it's a bass. Better bass. Well, I'll say better bass. Biggest one this evening. But, it's better than sat there and not. There we go. Nice. Oh, look at that, just in the, just in the mouth. Come on, there we go. Gone. Happy days. Right, let's get this one back out ASAP and uh, try and find one. Oh, just had an absolute screaming bite there. I don't know what this is. It's on there, I think. Absolutely scream the scream the ratchet out then. What have we got here? Something there. Probably swimming with me a bit, so it's probably a bass or smart or something. It's, yeah, it's going right over there now. Oh yeah. Do you know how it feels like an eel? Oh, I dunno. Just fighting quite nicely then. I'm feeling snotty. Feels like it's backing off a little bit, but then it's going all over the place too far, so it probably ain't. Either way, oh, it's a better bass. Nice, oh, better. That's a bit better. That's weird. Oh yeah, it's a lot better. Not massive. Hopefully you're seeing that. Let's get that down just a little bit more. There we go. Nice. Right, let's get it back in. Happy days. This one's been uh, kind of bouncing around, so... It was quite heavy. Mm. Yeah, it does feel heavy. Well, fingers crossed. No knobs or nothing at the moment. No rattles. But it, it, oh yeah, now this is getting heavy. There's a leader. This is staying deep, it's hopefully. 
Yes, there we go. Oh, another keeper. Nice. Bit of weed on that one. Is he well hooked? Yeah, I think he is. Yeah. Get that weed off. I don't really want that in the boat. Yeah, nice. There we go. Another keeper there. Nice. That's, that's quite a nice one. Cool. That's number four. Pleased with that. About time. It's gone a bit quiet. Just had that bass about a pound and three quarters. And now another sole. Happy days. Bring it on. Oh, I just had a few interesting rattles on this one then. It's probably about time for a bait check now. So, uh, here it goes. Let's... Uh, Bit of weight there, but then I had a bit of weed on there last time, didn't I? So, oh, there's definitely a bit of weight there, actually. Oh, there we go. There we go. Someone just woke up then. That is very heavy. Stays deep. It could be. Definitely a fish there. Oh, that is getting really heavy now. Just hope it is. God, that is really heavy. Oh, yeah, go on. Not away. Oh, what is this? Fingers crossed. God. That is. There's a the leader. Oh, look at that. Oh, m <laughs> look at the size of that bottom sole. Oh well, that takes it to six sole this evening. What a cracker that is. That's bigger than one seven. What I had earlier. Oh yeah. That's got to be approaching too. What a monstrous fish. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get this little slip off. Oh, look at that, only just lip hook. Go on, mate. Oh, go on. Cool, go on. Oh, he's been on there a little while, judging by the tangle of that. And to be fair, it hasn't been out that length of time. Right, I want to weigh that in a minute. And uh, see if I can get myself out of this tangle. I'm running, getting a bit low on bait now, but yeah, it's gotta be, it's gotta be two. That's uh, much bigger than that one seven. Yeah, stonker. Absolute beautiful, right. Let's get it weighed. Happy days. Bring it on. Well, six sold so far after that one. And I reckon this could be another one here. Uh, two pound three. So I'm pleased with that. Could be another one here. Certainly coming onto the feed now, very late now, so this could be just giving those little rattles. Staying deep, it's getting heavier as well, so. Yes, here we go. Get that bit of weed off. There we go. It's number seven. Only a little slip. Only a little slip, but that's number seven, so they're coming on the feed. 
absolutely superb. Happy days, right, let's get this back down. See if we can get some more before the bait runs out. <clears throat> well, that little bit of tide pulling now. We've certainly got uh, gotten back on the feed again. This one's been going quite a bit. Don't know if there's something there or not. Doesn't feel overly heavy at the moment. Possibly something there. Yeah, cracking night so far. So two pound three, one pound seven and fifteen ounces are the three keepers. Seven in all so far. No. No. A bit, a bit of weed. Right. As I say, I'm almost out of bait now, but... It's gone midnight. Let's see what we can do. As I say, I ain't got many worms left. Don't want to waste them. Bloody size fours pain. But... Needs must. Yeah, it was certainly worth uh, going to a free hook flapper. Flapper rig. I had that double shot earlier. Top one there. Come on. No, it's just twisted. Just twisted. Come on. There we go. I'll probably give it until one, thereabouts. Right, let's get it back out there. Bring it on. <clears throat> oh, I'd say something's on here, maybe a bit of weed, but. I don't really feel any, any little jigging around. So, any fight, nothing really. There might be a bit of weed on this one. weed right let's get her back down here again well welcome back nothing on the last drop so uh anchors up and let's uh let's head in yeah very good night Seven sole, two pound three, one pound seven, and 15 ounces. That's the three keepers. All the rest went back to uh, 
quite another day. No, really pleased with that. Absolutely brilliant result. Wash the deck down for the second, stick her on autopilot. People like this, wash the deck down, get in, give it another wash with the old uh, hose back at the dry stack, and uh, roll on next time. Well, hope you like uh, what you've seen today, uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you can hit the like and subscribe, that'll be fantastic. I want to keep the old channel going. Right. Happy days. Let's get in. Till next time. As Bill Boy says, Bonjour.